love roses so much. I love the way they look, the way they smell. I love the way they taste even. And I, of course, love all of their medicinal properties and all the incredible things that they can do for us. And in fact, in the Sweet Vegan Spills the Tea magazine that's coming out this week for Valentine's Day, I have a few recipes with um, rose water and rose petals including a rose and hibiscus latte. And there's also a recipe for a heartbeat ravioli stuffed with pistachio pesto ricotta, which does not have roses in it at all, but it's definitely worth checking out. So if you haven't subscribed already, the magazine is completely free and I'll put a link in the description below so you can subscribe for your free copy. And also the recipe uh, for the rose petal cookies that I'm about to show you is in the magazine also. Start by creaming plant-based butter together with some granulated sugar and powdered sugar. If you use room temperature butter, it will be much easier to get it light and fluffy. I don't know why I keep doing this. I keep forgetting to bring the butter out until the last minute. <laughs> so it takes a lot more effort, but it's also probably easier in a mixer. I just like doing this by hand. I know I've talked about that before, but I just feel like it's a much more meditative process and I feel a bit more connected with what I'm doing. Don't get me wrong. I love my mixer, but I add a bit of rose water. Um, I made the mistake in the past of measuring it directly into the dough and accidentally spilled it. And the rose water can be really, it's delicate. It's a beautiful taste and, and smell, but it can be really overpowering if you use too much. So I pour it into a different container first and then scoop it out with the measuring spoon to avoid over spillage. I also add vanilla. I love rose and vanilla together. It's so beautiful. I actually have a rose and vanilla tea that I love. I sift flour into the butter and sugar mixture. I add my rose petals. I didn't chop them up or anything. They'll they'll break apart a little bit in the mixing of the of the batter anyway. And when you do mix, I mean, there's a balance of course between getting it well integrated and and not over mixing because you don't want your flour to become too too tough or your cookies will be very dense. Once it's well mixed, you make the dough into a ball. I do that with my hands. I find it's just much easier. And also, again, I like to get <laughs> I like to get right in there. And once the ball is well formed, I will flatten it into a disc on a piece of parchment paper and wrap that up and put it in the fridge to chill for about half an hour. Once the dough is chilled, I roll it out onto a floured board and use a cookie cutter to cut it into the shapes that I like. Pop that into the oven until the bottoms and the edges are just, just, just golden brown. While the cookies are cooling, I melt white chocolate chips on the stove and then I dip part of the cookies in white chocolate, just the corner or the, the ends or even you can drizzle the chocolate on if you wanted to. 
and then I sprinkle crushed pistachios and crushed rose petals onto the still warm melted chocolate. You gotta do that part fast enough that you get to it before the chocolate hardens or they won't stick to the cookie. I love this recipe so much and I hope that you try it. As I said earlier, the full recipe is in the Sweet Vegan Spills the Tea Valentine magazine and you can get a free copy of that by going to sweetvegan.net. If you do try the recipe, please let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you thought. Thank you so much as always for taking the time to watch this video. It means so very much to me and I hope if you have not already subscribed that you'll consider doing so and also enabling the notifications so that you know when new videos are coming out. If you would like to connect with me, I am also on Instagram at Sweet Vegan Living and on Facebook. If you are a Patreon subscriber, I can't thank you enough for believing in the work that I'm doing for being a part of it and for helping to make this channel possible.